I'm living my JLo teenage dreams. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have another haul for you. I always choose the most inopportune times to film these because the light is really weird at this time of day. But this is when I get my energy. It's when I'm most motivated. I am going to try on some stuff that I purchased. I recently took some stuff back to Primark and I bought some things and I also got some stuff from H&M. <laughs> actually isn't anything in this bag. I think I might have only bought one thing from Primark, truthfully, but I will link for you below my last Primark haul uh, where you can tell me about all the things I should have kept that I returned. I actually saw this in store the first time around and decided against it, but when I went back it was calling my name. I love these little stretchy tops. I got it in an extra small. I'm actually a 10 to 12 depending on where I shop, uh, but I got it in an extra small because they are so stretchy and because I'm like small in the boobs, it tends to be as much support as I need. So they kind of like hold me in. And with stuff like this, they lose stretch over time. So I go smaller for it to get a little bit baggy. Cause if I went small and then it stretched to a medium, it wouldn't be enough support over time. I also just got these jeans for Mother's Day. They are Levi. I've always, always, always wanted some Levi fiber ones. I went into the store and tried them on. What on earth? Oh, that's like the weirdest, longest label in the world. Um, they are such a nice fit and I am really hopeful that they will last me forever because um, they just feel so much sturdier than my regular jeans and I got them in a cropped leg uh, so they are just slightly cropped 26 inch leg in order to get kind of like the ankle grazer that I wanted 26 I used to I swear I used to get jeans that were like a 30 30 and these are 28, 26. Also, I like to try clothes on with no makeup on. And last time I filmed a video where I was hauling clothes, um, someone told me whatever I'd done to my face, it didn't look good and I looked better before and I ruined my face. So this is just my face. You just never know if you're gonna need to return clothes. So you know, it's not worth the, it's not worth the hassle of potential makeup marks. Um, this I really like. I think I would wear this with jeans anyway. Part of me thought, well, worst case scenario, I'll definitely wear this with little jean shorts when we go to Disney in August. Um, but I think I would wear this anyway. I'm really trying not to buy clothes that I'll only wear on holiday. Um, but I think this is cute. Stretchy tops from Primark. The problem with this light is like, this is too much light, but this is too little light. Right, I'm gonna hang out over here in front of this. Oh, you can see the back of me. It's almost like being in the changing room. There we go. Uh, hang out in front of this artificial light instead. So this is, um, this was actually like a, a set of two. I can't remember how much I paid. This was from H&M. And I stupidly took off the tags before I tried it on. Honestly, it's a little bit snug. I mean, it's fine, but I feel like maybe I would have got a medium and I got a small, especially because I actually intended to wear these for work. I mean, they're not bad. They're not crazy, but it does just feel kind of a little a little snug for work. Um, anyway, these two colours, I will link them for you below. I'll, I'll try this one on because I also got some trousers from H&M that I thought this would go really nicely with. I'm wearing this same thing underneath it, so just beware, slightly see-through. But you can see how thin and snug this is because you can definitely make out, even if you couldn't actually see through it, you can definitely make out the lines of everything. So I don't know if this is work appropriate, but let me put on the trousers. I showed you some trousers last week, and these are the trousers I thought I was buying. The picture online was not entirely clear what it was that I was buying. I thought I was getting these ones. Also, I got the wrong size. I bought these ones in a 12. Um, the last ones I got in a 10, because I thought that they would be a good fit. But I've got these 12s, also it's almost exactly the same color, which I'm not against, love a color blocking moment. Um, but I'm hopeful these ones will fit. I'll have to kind of partially show you in the mirror. Which way do I go? This way. I can't work out mirror images this way. I think these are really nice. These are a really good price as well. They're like $17.99, which I think for work wear, work trousers is really good. Um, I definitely think they're like the 12 is perfect. There's no giving this waist whatsoever. I think these are a little bit small. So if you are used to wearing, um, if you're like a perfect 10, then maybe a 10. But if you're like on the cusp, definitely go for the bigger size because this is, there's very little give there. When I sit down, I'm probably gonna have to <laughs> unbuckle this top part. You know, we all do it. But they are really, really nice, comfortable. And you know, maybe I would wear this 
I'll show you the, the cardigan. I was going to take this cardigan back and I decided to keep it. This is from last week's haul. This is from Monkey. I was annoyed because then they put it on sale almost immediately, but hey ho. I maybe would wear these. Mm, I don't know. No, I don't know if that really goes. But this is totally my colour palette now. I go like beiges, neutrals, soft autumns. So I think I could wear this cardigan with this. And it's like kind of colour blocking, but like tonal, which I'm into. I feel like I need a belt with this. What do you think? I still feel like, for someone with like, that's not large chested, this makes me look really heavy up here. It is just kind of a little bit too snug, but hey ho. Definitely something to bear in mind um, if you are slightly busty, because if you're a normal small, you're definitely going to be a medium or a large if you've got boobs. Um, I like this. I think that's cute. I think also this kind of works. I love a tonal workwear outfit. I've also been sharing some of this stuff on Instagram if you're interested, because I have been going into the office a little bit more often. So I'm trying to um, kind of share, for those of us who are like, I've forgotten what to wear in an office, trying to share some realistic office outfits um, as like inspiration for those of you who are in the same situation as me. I really need to wear more belts. I think this is really cute. I also, I got some like cream colored loafers, but I think I probably like some like tan or like brown leatherish looking loafers as well. This is the kind of stuff that I could just wear this anyway. I don't wanna wear, I don't wanna buy a load of clothes that I can only wear in an office setting if I'm going maybe once a week, especially because anything could happen. So I, I kinda of really only wanna be wearing, or sorry, buying clothes that I can wear outside of work as well. And I think I probably could dress these up if I really wanted to. I've also bought some stuff on Vinted recently, which I can't wait to share with you. Um, I don't know if you guys are into Vinted, but I'm a big fan and I've got a lot of stuff recently that has been an absolute steal. And I bought some trousers for work that are next level amazing from Topshop and I think I paid like five pounds. Well, that settled something for me because my dad just came to collect something um, and I went outside and brought it to him and he never even questioned my outfit. And he knows I'm not going to work today, so casual. I kind of, I feel like I would fit in with um, the people, like archeologists, like Jurassic Park one where they're still digging. Right, last clothing thing I wanted to show you was this because Ella, my daughter, bought this from ASOS. It's actually huge. It's a size six. Again, she took the tags off before she tried it on and then she left it too long. She can't return it, so she gave it to me. It's already happening. It's already happening. We can share clothes. Um, it's not for her. She said it looks like something a grandma would wear. Enter mother. I wouldn't wear it with this necessarily, but it is big, isn't it? It's a size six. So it's obviously supposed to be oversized, but it's extra oversized, I think. This would kind of work maybe like with jeans. That would be cute. I might try and convince her to wear this actually, but it's not really her, it's not really her bag. But I would definitely wear this to work with maybe like black trousers. I like it, and it was free. I just quickly want to try this on. This is quite sheer, so I definitely need something underneath it. So like ignore the fact that you're gonna be able to see my little bra I think through it, but I think this would be so cute. I'm thinking specifically of my outfit to work tomorrow, really. Um, I think this would be nice with these. This I bought, or maybe it's too pale. This I bought to go with some white jeans. I actually think that's too pale, but maybe that's because of this underneath. No? Okay, let me try something else. This fit is a little more work appropriate, but I think it's too pink. This is an All Saints t-shirt. I don't usually shop at All Saints. You know like when you're at an outlet and you get a bit carried away and you buy things you'd never normally buy, like an All Saints t-shirt. It's really nice. It's just I would never usually buy an All Saints t-shirt. And I was like, oh, there's a sale. I also bought, um, what are they called? Joggers from All Saints. What? That was crazy. I like literally lose my mind in an outlet. Everything suddenly is like, oh my God, that's so cheap. Oh, it's only 50 pounds. And we've gone baggier still. I'm actually gonna leave this on and put it on with some jeans. Um, I realise this is not a haul, what I'm doing right now, but when we talk about this in the Vinted video, you can probably find all this stuff on Vinted for loads cheaper than I originally paid for it if I bought it full price. I bought two more things. Three more things technically because I also bought Ella one of those contour ones from Primark. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, 100%. You need to try one of those contour ones from Primark. They are really, really nice. I got one, she tried it, she liked it. I said, if I find one when I go to return my stuff, I'll buy you one, and I did. I also, I know I just said I was 
specifically trying not to buy things that are all only using Disney. But look at this, this is from H&M. This is so cute. I couldn't not buy it, it was $7.99. Cheaper than a real Disney phone case. But I think it's so cute and I also bought these. These were $3.99, I will try them on for you now. I am obsessed with hoops. Ella was laughing at me saying she can't believe that I actually wear legit hoops now because I've never been that mum. But I didn't have my ears pierced for a really, really long time. Oh, I'm living my JLo teenage dreams. I used to, do you remember those like metal bangles that you used to get? I used to cut them in half and just put them on my ears. Love, absolutely love. I never wanna be without hoops in my ears now. It is a complete vibe. And that's everything, that is all from my little mini haul. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if I made some poor decisions of the things that I returned, because I returned quite a lot of stuff from the previous haul. I'm not buying a lot of new clothes. I'm buying stuff from Vinted that feels like guilt-free for me, but I'm trying to bring in only things that I love and that fit within my color palette. Someone in the last haul said, um, like, why wasn't I wearing much more color? I'm, it is color, but it's just tonal. So I'm trying not to buy a lot of bright colors. I like the occasional pink or something fun, but for the most part, I want clothes that kind of all mix and match with each other and everything kind of goes together and it's easier to dress that way. I'm never gonna be a casual wardrobe person, but I think a color palette and not keeping something I don't love, they're easy rules to follow. Um, so hope you've enjoyed this. I will leave everything that I can linked for you below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.